Hey everyone, welcome back. Due to massive uh, popularity of my previous video where I built a Node.js React application using NPM, but in that video, I used the Docker images, right? Now, many people asked me how we can build the Node.js application without using Docker. So uh, I'm going to show you how you can build a simple Node.js application uh, without installing Docker and you can run it on your local instance, local Jenkins instance, right? So we are going to use the same repository, right? Uh, which is the simple Node.js React NPM app application. So it's, a, it's on my GitHub and the URL will be present in the video description, right? Now, uh, we'll, we'll make some changes, right? So I'm not going to change the Jenkins file. We'll be using the declarative syntax within the pipeline job, right? To uh, to run this pipeline. And I'm going, not going to go through each stage. Uh, the purpose of this video is to just show you how you can configure Node.js with your Jenkins so that you can run it on a local instance instead of a Docker uh, container, right? So I'm going to show you uh, the build section and I'm sure after that you can figure out uh, how to run your um, Node.js tests uh, using NPM, right? Among other things. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to create a pipeline first. So I can call it um, Node Pipeline and I'm going to select the pipeline type. So let me just copy this so that we can use that in the description as well. And um, so we are not going to use the script from SCM option, rather we are going to use the pipeline script, right? So, I've written a simple script, which we can use here. So this is the script, right? And so uh, before running this, uh, we'll, we're, we're going to see some prerequisites, right? Which you will need to do, but let's first complete this. Um, so, here in the build stage, apart from npm install, I also require something called the Git GitHub repository, right? So I'm going to my snippet generator. I will go to Git and I will copy this URL here and put it here, the repository, generate pipeline script. I'm going to use this script here so that it can check out this code, right, from the repository. So this is what uh, our build will do. So I'm going to explain what these tools, Node.js will do, right? Uh, we are not using any Docker image, as you can see on the agent. So it is going to pick up any age, any available agent. Now, since we are running on Windows, um, I have to use batch, bat command instead of sh, right? So instead of a shell command. So if you're running it on a Unix or a Linux machine, it's much easier for you because then you can run, uh, then you can run all the files which is mentioned uh, in this project, right? So uh, you can run all the SH uh, shell scripts uh, if you're running it on a Win Unix or a Linux machine. But since I am uh, running it on Windows, I'm just going to show you this npm install, right? So how you can configure this. So our pipeline job is ready. Now, as a prerequisite for this particular, uh, for this particular setup, right? You need to have Node.js and npm running on your local machine. So please uh, download and install these and set up both the, uh, both the packages, right? Then, um, as I said, you can clone this repository into a local. Or actually, it's not even required because we are anyways checking out the code from the 
uh, Jenkins pipeline itself. So you don't really require to clone the repository, but for your reference, if you want to do, uh, you can go ahead and do it. But setting up Node.js and NPM is uh, absolutely mandatory, right? So in order to check whether um, both are running on your machine or not, you can actually uh, type something called and you can also check the npm version so this is my node version node.js version and this is my npm version so both are installed on my machine right so do that and then uh, you can go back to jenkins so here we need to configure node.js with to use in our jenkins right so to do that we first need to install a plugin Okay, so let's go to manage Jenkins. And you can go to manage plugins. Go to available. And here you can search node, right? So you'll see a plugin for Node.js and we need to install that plugin. Just a minute while it uh, loads all these plugins. It takes a little while because there are lots of there. So we'll search now. Um, okay, so yeah. So this is the Node.js plugin, executes Node.js script as a build step, right? So I'll do install without restart. So I'll pause this video for a few seconds until it completes the installation. Okay, so the plugin is installed now and I can go back to the dashboard. Now we need to configure this in the global tools configuration. So let's go there. Right, so you can find the Node.js uh, installations here. And so if you want to install it directly, you can select this option, install automatically and select the version which you want to install, but I already did that. So I'll just put the name here, Node, and the installation directory. So let me search that where it is. So it should be here somewhere. Um, not here, so yeah, so this is my Node.js directory. So I can put this path here, right? And apply and save the changes. So that's the global tool configuration for Node.js and it sh now it should be ready for you to use. So, Everything is configured now. Uh, we can go back to our Jenkins and run this pipeline and we'll see whether it, inst uh, using NPM install, whether it uh, actually runs that Node.js application, uh, Node.js and React application, right? Whether it builds that application. So let's go ahead and run this. I'll do build now and Let's open the Blue Ocean interface to have a better view. So here it is running and going to see the logs. So it is going to take a little while. I'm going to pause this video again uh, and we'll resume after it uh, is complete. Okay, so the pipeline is completed running. As you can see, it uh, executed all the steps, right? Now, here's the NPM install. So as you can see, it ran, it compiled, and it uh, built this Node.js and React application for you using NPM. It uh, also checked out the code from the repository, and it uses a tool from a predefined tool installation, 
so what is that right so let me go back to the pipeline job and explain you what we did in the declarative syntax which we so let's see so apart from uh, this tools i think we have seen all the other commands so uh, we have just a single stage called build and we have two steps here right uh, we are checking out the github repository and we are running a batch command called npm install right uh, we are also you, you we are not using any agent and in the tool sections tools section so we are using using this node js and we are passing this name called node so it is going to find this tools in the global configuration with the name node right so and going to use that particular uh, tool so if you remember while configuration uh, in our global tools configuration so we gave the name for node js installation as node so it is using it is searching for that particular name in the different tools and then it is going to use the tool with that particular name right so that's uh, what it is so in node.js installations if you see the name is node right so it is going to find that using this name so that's all for this video i hope now uh, you have got a clear idea on how to run a node.js and react application both by using docker and also without using docker right so i hope you, uh, you like this video please uh, as usual subscribe to my channel and uh, please share your comments and feedback uh, for this video so see you in the next video thanks